द जयबाल उपनिषद इन सिंपल इंग्लिश प्रेजेंटेड बाय स्वयं प्रकाश शर्मा वी बिगिन द उपनिषद विद एन इन्वोकेशन ओ ऑल माइटी गॉड विद आर ईयर्स मे वी हियर वॉट इज ऑस्पिशियस विद आर आईज मे वी सी वॉट इज ऑस्पिशियस मे वी एंजॉय द लाइफ अलॉटेड टू अस बाई यू ऑफरिंग यू प्रेजेज विद आर बॉडी स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑफ लिम मे इंद्र ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग ग्लोरी बिस्टो प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑन अस मे पूषण द नोअर ऑफ ऑल बिस्टो प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑन अस मे गरुड़ ऑफ अन ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड पाथ बिस्टो प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑन अस मे बृहस्पति बिस्टो प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑन अस ओम शांति 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 ओम द जबाल उपनिषद belongs to the athar ved in the list of 108 upanishads given in the muktika upanishad it figures at serial number 13 it is one of the sanyas upanishads and discusses some important questions about renunciation and liberation the upanishad brihaspati the guru of the gods said to yagyavalkya yagyavalkya know this that kurukshetra is the place for the gods it is the resort of the gods and for all beings it is the abode it is the dwelling of the soul of the universe brahm avimukt is the kurukshetra it is the place of the gods it is the resort of the gods and for all beings it is the abode it is the dwelling of the soul of the universe brahm therefore no matter where one goes one should always think of it as such as avimukt as kurukshetra which is for the gods and for all creatures it is the dwelling of brahm the soul of the universe it is there it is when the lives of all living beings go upwards it is then that rudra teaches them the tarak mantra by which they become immortal and are liberated therefore meditate on avimukt do not ever give up avimukt yagyavalkya then sage atri asked yagyavalkya how can i know that self that atma which is infinite and unmanifested yagyavalkya replied you can know that self by meditating on the avimukt for that self which is infinite and unmanifested is established in avimukt atri then asked and in what is avimukt established yagyavalkya replied avimukt is established in the middle of varana and nasi and what pray are varana and nasi asked atri varana is so called because it overcomes all the faults it overcomes all the errors of omission and commission committed by the sense organs and nasi is so called because it destroys all the evils and the sins committed by the very same sense organs what is their dwelling place where do they reside and live asked atri their residence is the meeting place of the eyebrows and the nose it is the meeting place of the world of the gods and the world beyond the world of the gods it is this same meeting place that the knowers of brahm worship as sandhya as twilight avimukt is to be meditated upon therefore meditate on it he who knows it he gains the knowledge which makes him fit for liberation and salvation once students of sacred knowledge asked yagyavalkya yagyavalkya is it possible to gain life eternal by the mere repetition of certain formula or mantras or names yagyavalkya replied yes by the mere repetition of the 100 names of the soul of the universe brahm by the mere repetition of the shatrudriya one becomes immortal by meditation of shatrudriya the names of the soul of the universal brahm one becomes immortal once janak king of videhe 
went to Yagivelki and said, Respected sir, teach me about renunciation. To him, Yagivelki replied, The normal order of life is as follows. First one lives the life of a student. After completing his studies, and after completing the life of a student, one then lives the life of a householder. And after completing such life of a householder, one then lives the life of a forest dweller. And after completing the life of a forest dweller, then one should renounce and live the life of a monk or a sadhu. This is the normal routine. However, if a suitable occasion should arise, then one could become a monk or a sadhu from any of the stages, right from the stage of studentship or from the stage of householder or from the stage of forest dweller. One could renounce from any of these stages. Notwithstanding, whether one has completed the injunction or not completed the injunctions, whether one has performed the prescribed rites or not performed the rites, whether he is a student or not, even though he may not have completed the sacrificial rites, the ceremonies relating to the Vedic studies, whenever the spirit of renunciation enters into a person, from that very moment he should renounce the world and become a recluse and become a sadhu, a monk. Some perform the Prajapatya sacrifice whose presiding deity is Brahma, though there is no need to do this, but one should only perform the fire sacrifice since fire is life. This is how he should perform the fire sacrifice. He makes the fire take the form of life or make the fire merge into its original source which is life. Then he should also perform the Tre Dhat Viya sacrifice where the three elements representing the three qualities of Sattva, Rajas and Tamas are burnt and destroyed. He should inhale the smoke of the fire by saying the following mantra. O fire, this life which is the source of your birth and from whom you have come out and shown. Knowing this, you climb up to life and then you make my spiritual wealth increase. He who is life, he is the material cause. He is the source of fire. O oh fire, you assume the form of your source, which is life. You assume the form of life. In the case of one who has not performed the fire sacrifice, but has taken fire from any home of the village, he should inhale the smoke of the fire as stated above. If he is not able to get the fire from any household, he should perform the sacrifice in the water, for water represents all the gods. He should perform the sacrifice saying this mantra, I offer to all the gods. He should eat the remnant of the sacrifice with ghee, which cures all diseases. He should recite the pranav. He should recite om, which represents the substance and the spirit of the Vedas and which leads to liberation. This is Brahm. This is the soul of the universe. This is what should be meditated upon. It is as you say, revered Yagivalkya, said Janak. Then Atri asked Yagivalkya, One who does not wear the sacred thread, how can he be treated as a Brahman? Yagivalkya replied, for such a one, this alone is a sacred thread that he purifies himself by the offering and by sipping water. This is the procedure for becoming a recluse, a sadhu, a monk. For one who is tired of the world but is not yet fit to become a recluse, the following are prescribed. He may choose a hero's death by following the path of a warrior on the battlefield. He may die on the battlefield. He may fast unto death. He may drown himself in water. Or he may burn himself unto death. Or he may perform the last journey. He may keep on walking till he dies. Then the wandering ascetic, the wandering monk who wears orange robes, who is shaven, who has no possessions whatsoever, who is pure, 
who is enemy to none and who lives on arms such a one obtains the state of brahm if he is sick then he can renounce to the mind but this is not allowed to one who is in good health such a renouncer becomes the knower of brahm so said the venerable yagivalkya the sages samvartak aruni shwetketu durvasa ribhu nidag jad bharat datatre revatak and many others are paramhanses the highest perfected and realized souls they are of unmanifested natures they are of unmanifested ways of life to others they seem to behave as madmen though they are in no way mad they renounce carrying the three danda which are three staves tied together and carried by monks as a sign of the control of these three as a control of thoughts as a control of words and as a control of deeds they renounce the kamandal a bowl used by ascetics for food and water they renounce their choti their tuft of hair and they renounce their sacred thread their yagopavit their janeu they renounce all these in water with the words bhu swa and then they seek to know the self the atma assuming the form they had at birth when they were without any bonds and without any possessions they must walk very carefully on the path of brahm with a clean mind with a pure heart for the sake of maintaining life they must fill the vessel of their stomach with the arms obtained at fixed times treating gain and loss as equal they must live in places such as a deserted house or a temple or a shrub or an ant hill or the root of a tree or a potter's home a fireplace a sand bank in a river a hill a cave the hollow of a tree or a stream in a deserted place without making any effort without any self sense or ego of mine or mindness intent on meditation established in the higher self and always eager and keen on removing the effects of evil deeds such sanyasis such renunciates give up their bodies by the method of renunciation such indeed is the paramhans the highest perfected soul such indeed is a paramhans the highest perfected soul this concludes the jabal upanishad om shanti 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 om